Well, here in a story that you will see only on 13, we're getting an inside look at a chop shop dismantling cars stolen from the Heights. The man who investigates with the Precinct 1 Constable's Office says it was behind it was arrested this week. Our Micah Hatfield is standing by live with that video and also how law enforcement found out about this to begin with, Micah. How they found it? An air tag. It's as simple as that. The owner worked with the Precinct 1 Constable's Office and it cracked open a big case. We really need to make an example of people doing this kind of stuff. One night you go to sleep, your car's parked out front or in your driveway. The next morning it has vanished. That's what a few residents in the Heights found, only to check their surveillance and see a wrecker took it overnight. They had an air tag in their vehicle and it pinged. And so our officer was able to get in touch with the person and go and find where the ping was coming from. A chop shop inside a warehouse space on the north side. Even though the vehicle was found, you're not getting it back because what was once this has become this. These particular cars have been taken apart and, and, and taken each part has been sold individually or in a, in a combination of multiple parts together. After a several week long investigation, Ignacio Ulysses Castaneda's wrecker was seized and he was arrested this week, facing a list of charges that Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen believes could grow. He found Castaneda's use of a wrecker in this case a slick move. You're sort of disarmed when you see a wrecker truck backing up to a car. You think maybe, well, maybe the car's being repossessed. Maybe it's being taken to a dealership to get repaired. So far, investigators have identified two cars they believe were stolen by Castaneda from the Heights, but they believe there will be dozens more by the end of this because he's allegedly been operating since 2019. One big takeaway? Having a tracking device in your car can be extremely beneficial. It was a game changer for this case because it led us right to the spoils of the crime. And uh, so, you know, I encourage people to put tags on their vehicles. In downtown, Mike Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.